Rigor here from Rigor's Garage and Boat Basin. Uh, got a start of another week here on the Grady White. Um, today we're going to get the uh, angle grinder out and start cleaning up the fiberglass. I'm uh, hoping uh, this week I get to start putting in some new wood. I hope you enjoy the episode and of course thanks for watching. Okay, we're going to start grinding on the floor here of the Grady White and using the uh, angle grinder. And of course with that, I need uh, gloves. Uh, also I'll use uh, this brush. Uh, this works good to, to clean the fiberglass. It's kind of abrasive and uh, believe it or not, it kind of braids it and gets it ready for a new fiberglass and of course uh, full face mask and respirator uh, need this so off we go and uh, I'm gonna start grinding now, I should tell there's nothing uh, too exciting about uh, angle grinding it's just dusty uh, just all I'm doing is smoothing out uh, uh, some of the things that I've cut off, uh, layers of uh, fiberglass, and getting all covered with uh, white dust. Uh, let me bring you back after I'm through. Okay, uh, been grinding away. Uh, only thing that's really different is it's been cleaned, and it's uh, smoother. No... Uh, no rough edges. Uh, I think I'm ready to start making some wood parts here and start putting some things back in uh, towards the nose. So, making progress. Well, down below I showed you uh, a uh, area where a uh, uh, floor drain was missing. Uh, it comes out of this uh, forward hatch. Uh, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a rope locker for the anchor or something like that. And uh, the water's supposed to drain out. I've ordered a, uh, a fitting for it. Uh, the best plastic you can buy. And we'll take it from there. As you can see, I just uh, wormed my way into the nose of the boat here with this angle grinder and the, uh, the wire brush. Uh, you'll probably also notice that if you look back in, in previous videos, uh, half the brush is gone. Uh, I'm going to sit here and say, uh, first thing, I didn't take any videos of this. Uh, this, this angle grinder is... Uh, Requires two hands to hold on to it. Otherwise, it'll get away from you uh, Especially with this uh, with this brush on it So a as you can see I went through all of the, the fiberglass here uh, And this is after I vacuumed uh, This area out uh, I went all the way To the nose You can see in here, I have uh, abraded all of the, the fiberglass uh, right up into the nose. Uh, like I say, it's it's something where you've got to, if you change positions, if you do anything different, turn it off, move to your new position, and uh, keep on working on it. What it does, it roughs up the fiberglass. I mean, this fiberglass is put in here in 1984. And it roughs it up, roughs up the surface. Uh, next thing I'll do is probably just take a little sander to it, but it's uh, it's definitely uh, done its job in uh, in the various areas. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm prepping for for new wood in this area. Now, as you can see, 
This is the after vacuuming. You can see the nose is clean and the, the fiberglass is clearly been abraded. So uh, next thing is to uh, uh, give it a light sand and start putting in new wood. Okay, so what I've done, uh, I cut back, there was a, a crack going further back. I cut that, I ground that back and I've ground the edge around the hole uh, a little larger. Now I'm gonna cut a piece of plywood and start putting some fiberglass in. Okay, cut a piece of wood to put in the floor. Did a little grinding underneath. And I've got a, a void there that I have to uh, repair. Uh, next thing is get the resin out and uh, fiberglass and start putting in the patch. Okay, what I'm doing here is uh, putting fiberglass on the uh, floor. I've got the wood in, I've coated both sides with uh, resin. On the back side, I put 10 ounce cloth, and then I'm putting 1708 on the front side. Now, in this part of the video, I've edited out all the bad words because the wind blew over my cup of resin. <laughs> and what I'm doing is a brush at a time, picking it up off a piece of plastic and uh, saturating the 1708 um, that's it's going to be uh, the new new part of the deck Now the process here is um, uh, basically I've, I've coated the, the wood, the, the new wood piece with uh, resin, uh, both sides on the edges. I've put a 10 ounce cloth on the back side and uh, cut it large, uh, saturated it with uh, resin, put it in, uh, basically trapped the um, um, the, the fiberglass uh, between the edges uh, for adhesive. Now what I'm doing here is putting uh, several layers of 10 ounce cloth um, over uh, the rotted area in the deck. Part, all I'm doing is wetting out the 1708 on the deck patch <clears throat> and uh, I'm uh, working the, the resin into the cloth so it becomes transparent. Uh, biggest thing I'm doing is going around the edge and uh, you'll see that there are some light colored parts and I'm working out the air bubbles with the brush uh, so that the, the uh, the cloth takes on uh, right at, uh, there's around the edge of the patch is some darker wood, something they made the boat with. And I'm trying to work out the air bubbles uh, so that we get good adhesion. is a piece of 10 ounce cloth 
uh, that I'm using to uh, uh, cover up cover up a gap. So, like I say, it yeah, it wets out very easily, and uh, it's it's a good uh, gap filler. I'm putting a couple layers of uh, 10 ounce uh, cloth uh, over that um, section of the deck that, that has some rotted wood and, and a crack. Uh, I'm probably going to, again later, uh, strengthen it with a piece of 1708. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to put another layer of 1708 over this entire patch area. Right around the edge of the board, some of the, the 1708 fiberglass is light colored. That, that's because there's some air trapped between the fiberglass and the original wood in the boat. And what I'm doing is I'm using resin and the brush to force out the air so that the fiberglass lays and adheres to the original wood in the boat. Notice how the fiberglass goes from uh, a light color uh, to a dark color, and that means the uh, it is now attached to the uh, underlying wood, and the air has been forced out. Hey there. Uh, well, it's the end of the week. Uh, I got the boat covered up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So, uh, kind of preparing. Uh, probably got enough done. Uh, I mean, this is, is close to the end of the week. It's Friday. And it's supposed to rain all day Saturday. Uh, assuming Mr. Weatherman is uh, correct. So, um, got the, the hole in the floor covered up. Um... I'm just going to leave it kind of the way it is for right now. I think I'm going to put one more layer of 1708 on the top. Um, because I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do the floor. Uh, right now it's kind of an a anti-slip. Uh, I mean, it's nothing you'd want to walk on barefoot. It's kind of like, you know, little pointy things. But... Um, my, my thought was if I had the money, I'm going to take and put some, uh, I'm going to sand it down and uh, put some wood-like stick-on flooring that they have for boats, something like that. So we're going to wrap it up here for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And of course, thanks for watching.